All right, so interesting story here. I uh, I got this old laptop that had a that my uh, my dad's friend didn't want anymore because the keyboard was all uh, glitchy and would start typing random keys when they weren't pressing them. So I had the brilliant idea to um, this may sound stupid, but take the keyboard off just by uh, popping a few tabs and uh, I don't know if you can see that ribbon cable, disconnecting that and I actually washed it in the sink here I, I actually rinsed it with some dish soap in the sink and now I'm just testing it to see um, it, it actually appears to work just fine like this um, before washing this you would see the menu going up and down and left and right and whatever crazy stuff it would be doing. Now it doesn't seem to be doing it. I mean, I have yet to fully test this, which is why I do not have it fully reconnected. Um, I'm just going to try and boot into Windows here. This is not the hard drive that came with this, so I'm likely to get a blue screen of death. Wait for it. Wait for it. Blue screen of death, you saw that. Well, okay. Yeah, see the hard drive is dead. Back up and replace. Press F2 to continue, to resume. I will do it. We'll go in here. Yeah, I put a dead hard drive in this computer. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna test this a little bit more here. See, I'm pressing keys over, 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 over. This did not work before. I'm sorry I didn't film the uh, the uh, what what this was doing before. I I can't talk right now. Um, this would just it wouldn't go left or right. It wouldn't do anything, but. It, it seems that that washing this in the sink, watch washing this keyboard in the sink, has somehow fixed this, fixed this keyboard. I won't know for sure until I get a get a copy of Windows installed on this thing, though. So I'll be back later. It's super hard to do on camera, but I'm gonna try. Pop it back in. Just have to line up all these little tabs. Push down, push down, push down. Uh, don't think I'm getting it. Oh, I wish I had a camera operator, or at least a tripod, or and a real camera wouldn't hurt either. This cell phone is rather crap. There's a little little tab there that's not going in. I think I broke it when I took the keyboard out. I think we're in. Oh, and I bent the keyboard too. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to go back in the right way. I bent this keyboard, so there's a bit of a bend in it. Derp. Come on. Good. I like the sound of crunching. It's a good sign. Come on. Get in there, you bugger. Okay, so I think I might have broken a tab here. Um, God, there we go. It's gonna press down. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that scared me. That's definitely probably broken now. Whatever. This was a free computer anyway. Let me just uh, grab the power cord. Um, plug it in. Turn it back on. And dead hard drive, or dying hard drive, so F2, escape, discard. And then, and then, okay, yeah, we're just going to get another blue screen. I'm going to go get my Windows disk. My um, Windows 10 flash drive, because why not? I already had Windows 10 loaded on that flash drive. I'll 
since I don't care too much about this computer, I'm just going to try Windows 10. See if it works. Because this thing is totally beaten up and not worth anything to anyone, really. See? Hinge is broken. I gotta hold this thing really still because the rubber there's no rubber feet on the bottom anymore, so let's just this just slides around like a freaking hockey puck on the table. Wait, 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 we didn't boot from the CD or the the flash drive. Come on, reboot. Hold the power button till it powers off. Let's see if it boots from the USB. First, it's going to complain about the hard drive. Um, yeah. Well, if I can afford a new hard drive, I'll get one. Press F2. Just check boot here real quick. Looks like we still have this. Boot device priority. Yes, removable device. That is good. Good, good, good. It is nice to be able to use the keyboard on this again. Are you serious? I already pressed F2. I'll be back again. There we go. It was the escape key. I had to go look it up. Boot from the flash drive.
can see my hand, damn it. I'm gonna have to do a keyboard test here real soon, but I wanna get the video straightened out. That's good. My battery is disconnected. That's nice. I'm gonna have to put that back in. I find it sort of peculiar that this never, this never asked me for a serial number. I've talked to multiple people online who said they were given a serial number and it asked for it. So far I haven't encountered that. And this does seem to activate well. I mean, it doesn't activate, but it says it's genuine, so. I can't click on anything. Uh, but I can click. That's good. <sighs> what the hell? What the holy hell? Well, we'll come back once this is functional. Okay, I think we have responsiveness now. What? Where are all the apps? There's no, like, tiled apps here. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do a keyboard test here real quick. What? What happened? Okay, we might still have keyboard issues. That's no good. What? No, we have keyboard issues. I can't backspace anything. Crap. Really? Yeah. Fuck, this keyboard's still broken. Well, I tried. Can't backspace, well, that's terrible. Because I am pressing the. Damn it. Yeah, I suppose there's not even a point to um, testing this now. Now it kind of works. Notepad. I didn't press eight. Yeah. Well, hands are off the keyboard. Hands are off the keyboard. See, both hands. It is going completely crazy. Damn it! So you can actually see what the hell this thing is doing. Oh, it stopped, okay. This fucking sucks. Well, I guess this just tells me that the issue with this keyboard is not not due to it being dirty. It's actually a um, electrical glitch somewhere in this keyboard that cleaning did not seem to fix. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. Come on. Really? This is crazy. Okay. Now I know. Put together right. Great, now I'm gonna have to fix this somehow. It's not even worth it, but I'm going to try anyway. Uh, can't see. Can't see and hold the camera. And... Hmm. Oh, I know where the screws are on this thing, I think. Oh. Back here, I remember. Right stinking here. Let's 
somebody did not give a crap about this computer at one point in its life. Oh, shh. Drop the screw. Damn it. Hate dropping screws. Shit. Hang on. Second I remove a screw, it's gone. Damn it. Found the screw in amongst all the dirt on my floor. Finally. Try to do this and film at the same time. And not drop a screw. Oh, there it is. Just try not to lose these. This side now. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Gah! Yes. Can't film this well. Nope, oh, on the floor again. Damn it. Everything looks like a damn screw. It's always of the utmost importance to have an absolutely clean floor. That way if you drop something you will easily find it. I have all four screws removed and accounted for off my absolutely pristine floor. I'm going to remove the back with one hand, which I'm not used to. Ugh! Come on. Seriously, this is tough. This is a no Wait a sec. Did I turn the computer off? I hope I turned the computer off. I better check. Because <laughs> I'm about to open it. Ah. Oh no, the computer is actually on. Derp. Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Let's turn it off completely. Yeah, always turn the computer off before opening it. Another key point. And unplug it from the wall. Okay, now what? Come on! I t turn the fuck off. There we go. something with this camera. You piece of shit. Oh, am I missing another screw? I probably am. Let's take a look. I'm not seeing any extra screws. So, when in doubt, use more force. Where's my screwdriver set? There we go. Perhaps it just needs a little bit of coercion. Oh, shoot, yeah, my. I think there might be one under the battery, if I'm not mistaken. 
I've always hated the battery compartment on this thing. It's the point of having a cover over the battery. This is so much easier with two hands. Be right back. Now I just have to remove the battery. No, this shouldn't prevent me from taking this back cover off. I don't know why this isn't coming off. I've removed every freaking screw required to get into this stupid thing. Throw this freaking thing out the window. Stab myself with a freaking screwdriver by accident. Damn it! That's coming. Oops, I'm covering up the camera. Right here. Just jabbing at random things with my screwdriver. No, oh, no, that's going to break my screwdriver. Never mind. I care more about my screwdrivers than I do this piece of junk computer anyway. So. Seriously? I'm really sick of this. Yes. When in doubt, remove all the screws. Let that be another lesson to you. I almost broke this back panel, too. Just gotta put this on right. It was the only reason I took this off was to put it back on correctly. Now I can't even do that. Okay. So you can just take this off really easily now. Oh, I spoke too soon. There we go. Here's the guts of this piece of junk computer. Awesome. So here's the reason this is the biggest piece of junk ever made. This, oops, come on. Um, this is the only place you can put RAM, and they have two gigs soldered onto the motherboard. And you must put two more gigs in this other slot. This is a one gig stick, and it's not being detected. So it has to match this onboard memory in order to work. I think that's a load of bullcrap. Just thought I'd mention that. Oh, I cut myself working on this computer. I don't know how, but I just noticed that. It seems to be a common occurrence every time I work on a computer. There's that memory problem. It's only seeing the memory on the motherboard. Piece of shit. There's the specs of this piece of junk, if anyone's interested. And yeah, Windows did activate. And I never had to put a serial number in. Hmm. Not sure what to make of that yet.
soon as I turn the camera off, the keyboard works fine. But I don't think it will for very long. Let me just try to type something real. Or something that I don't know. Huh? Huh? Uh, apparently K is not a valid letter anymore. It actually causes the computer to make noises at me. Oh. Oh. I'm a dumbass. Oh, I can't type. Did that work? Wow, okay, it is working now. Don't think you saw while I was typing that, but... Well, you might have. I wasn't even looking at the camera. Hmm. I don't know. The problem keys are P and anything, any of these symbols. Uh, huh. Okay. It works for now, but I don't trust it. Tested pretty much every key that I can. Hmm. <laughs> ah, this this amuses me greatly. Sometimes it works, mostly off camera, and then when I turn the camera on, well, this time it worked, but last time I turned the camera on, it didn't work. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I think I'm done beating on this computer for, for today. Where you can get your very own piece of junk like this, consult your nearest dumpster, and hopefully you'll get lucky. Because a surprising number of people just throw their computers away.